Hey everybody, it's Mike here coming to you from Courtney Mazda. Hey, this is a little video for all you people checking out our cars, looking at our inventory, looking at our competition. This is a 2021 CX-5 GS uh, with a comfort package and this is a 2021 Toyota RAV4 XLE, very similarly equipped. I uh, want to tell you a little bit about what I noticed the differences are. So check it out, here it goes. 2021 CX-5 GS with the comfort package. You get, uh, you get a nice little car here with a machine in the machine gray metallic. The lines on the CX-5 are pretty nice. Uh, totally different than what you see in the Toyota RAV4. You got twin tinted windows along the back. You got 17 inch rims and tires with a mud and snow rating on those tires. Uh, you got a good amount of space in the back seat for your passengers. Underneath the hood, Sky Active 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. It's a high compression motor, about 185 horsepower, six speed automatic transmission, beautiful headlights as you see here. Those are those really bright LED lighting that you see. And uh, check out the Toyota. Nice lines on the Toyota as well. You got yourself some 17 inch rims and tires on there too. Looks like they got a Firestone Destination tire. There's a mud and snow rating on those as well. And uh, interesting lines on the Toyota. I love the new design of this Toyota. It does look a lot nicer than the old previous design, I think, but that's a matter of opinion. And up front here, let me just get those headlights on. So, those are on, there we go. All right, so, both the same size of vehicle, very similar size, very similar ground clearance. I think the Toyotas might be slightly higher. Well, they're pretty darn close. And as you see up here, you got some nice LED lighting on there as well. The Toyota has got the fog lights. Uh, behind the Toyota symbol is your adaptive cruise control. Mazda's got the same kind of thing. And up in the windshield, you got all your lane departure warning systems and uh, autonomous braking and that kind of stuff. The Mazda's got the same idea here. Uh, radar, radar, adaptive cruise control, all the adapt, all the lane departure and advanced autonomous braking and stuff like that up there. They both have sunroofs. Same size engine, different power, different power delivery. They feel different. Um, I'd say the uh, the Mazda seems to be a little bit more responsive for steering and handling. Uh, the Toyota uh, is, drives really nice as well. Bit, bit more of a cushier ride, I'd say. This is a bit more of a sportier ride. And uh, depends on what you like. Check out the front end of the uh, Toyota. It looks pretty good, nice styling. I like the new design. And over here as well. Let's have a look inside the passenger seat. The Toyota's got a cloth upholstery and the Mazda's got like a leatherette. I'll show you that in a minute here. So there's your cloth upholstery. It's got a little bit of razzle dazzle on the seat with the design. And you see here a little bit of storage there. You got your glove box right there. And then you got uh, this cool looking shifter here. It's got uh, multiple four wheel drive modes. You got a dual zone climate control, big screen up there for your camera and everything like that. It's got the sunroof, curtain airbags, side airbags, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff is on there as well. Heated seats and heated steering wheel. All right, let's go see what the Mazda's like on the passenger side here. You got signal lamps built in the outside rear view mirror, just like the Toyota does here and here. Inside the rear view mirror is your blind spot monitoring system as well. The Toyota has that as well. And that's your leatherette with a suede insert. Uh, really nice. A little bit more, uh, less going on on the dash than the Toyota. It's got the HMI commander right there that controls everything up on the screen. And that's your backup camera, your nav, and everything will show up there. You got a little different, smaller controls, but does the exact same thing. Your dual zone climate control, heated seats and heated steering wheel. There's your transmission, park, reverse, neutral drive, and manual mode. Uh, this is a part-time all-wheel drive system and you can lock it into full-time if you want, give yourself, give yourself extra traction. And speaking from my own experience, driving the CX-5 in the snow, no problem. I'm sure the RAV4 would be just as, just as good. 
They're probably very, very similar for capabilities of going on and off road. Another look at the two right here. All right, let's uh, let's see what the back seat is like in the Toyota for a guy like me to get in and out of it. So nice big door. Doesn't open up quite as wide as the as the Mazda does, but still lots of room for me to get in and out. And uh, quite spacious back here. You got big handles on the doors. Um, it's got cup holders and a spot to put your drinks and that kind of thing. And you got a lot of space in the back there if you need to. And then up front here, there's another little shot of your your dash instrument cluster infotainment system quite spacious back here there is two usb ports down below and some ventilation for your rear passengers and uh yeah it's pretty nice all right let's uh let's get out and check out the back seat of the cx5 so the back seat of the cx5 coming around here you'll notice the door opens up quite a bit wider getting in and out makes it a little bit easier getting in and out of here tons of space back here too similar to the toyota a little different feel of course because you got mazda and toyota they're they're different armrests with cup holders here and they put the usb ports right in here so both both are uh, good for usb ports and uh, cup holders check out the dash a little bit different looking and uh very, very uh, intuitive, easy to use, dual zone climate control. They're, they're both very similarly equipped, just different upholstery, lane departure and autonomous braking and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's get out and see what like the hatch is like in the back of these things. So first we'll do the, the Mazda, open that up. We've got the power lift gate and then I'll get the Toyota, open that one up. The Mazda here again, lots of space in the back, and uh, that's got a 40-20-40 split folding seat back here. You got power sources, and here's your floor mats and everything. Back here in the Toyota, it's a 60-40 split folding seat. The load height is almost identical between the two. The space inside there is very similar. Yeah, four sets of golf clubs. Toyota gives you this uh, cargo cover that fits in the back. Mazda doesn't have the cargo cover, but you can always add it. And the thing with the cargo cover just fits right in here, connects up to the door. So yeah, both nice for the for the hatch here. Let's see what it's like in the driver's seat of the Toyota. So they both have the intelligent key system, so you can lock and unlock the car from the outside of the vehicle by just touching the door handle on the Toyota or the button on the door for the Mazda. And uh, they both have a, a power seat um for fully adjustment for comfort and a little shot of your infotainment system when i put it into reverse shows you what's behind you and then you can get into all sorts of stuff here with the menus and that kind of thing on the steering wheel here you got your adaptive cruise control you can choose the distance here there's your uh autonomous that's your adaptive cruise control system. And over here you got your, your Bluetooth. And over here you've got, whoa, you've got your heated seats, heated steering wheel, another place for automatic headlights and that kind of stuff. All right, so pretty nicely equipped. Oh, it does have a couple different modes for the transmission. You've got, or for the all wheel drive system, you got eco mode and sport for your transmission. And then you got your off road modes, your snow, mud and sand and mud and sand. And, rock and dirt and then you got some cup holders here so pretty nice let's check out the stereo see how that sounds nice nice sound system all right let's go check out the mazda so the driver's seat of the mazda my favorite place to be it's a fun sporty ride uh similar getting in and out it's a different feel Totally. And then up on the instrument cluster here, you've got your, your instrument cluster there. And then you got your adaptive cruise control. You can adjust it here. Right here is setting it. 
stereo controls and over here you got your lock for your differential for all-wheel drive lane departure on and off power lift gate power mirrors and windows dual zone climate control with your heated steering wheel and heated heated steering wheel and heated seats down here and then when you do put it into reverse it shows you what's behind you nice big clear picture there let's check out the stereo in here outdoor living the island's home for canadian made patio furniture Yep, well, that sounds good. So there you have it. That's the 2021 Mazda CX-5 GS Comfort Package in 2021 Toyota RAV4 XLE. Uh, great to see both vehicles. They're both really nice. If you or somebody you know is in the market for either one of these, give me a call. I'd love to show you what we could offer. It's Mike here at 250-338-5777. Email me, mike at CourtneyMazda.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.